Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing really well. It's February half term and I've had a few days of catching up with myself and resting after, you know, the January blues, which is always a really tricky time in schools. Um, but today I feel really ready and positive uh, to catch up on some bits of work that I didn't really get round to finishing in that last week uh, before we broke up for, for the half term. And I also just wanted to sit down and spend maybe an hour organising uh, the next six weeks of school time and uh, strategise when I'm going to get some of the important things that I really need to, to do, uh, when I'm going to get those things done, otherwise the day is super reactive. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would film a video, it's been a while since I've done one, um, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I need to finish um, and how I go about organising those, but also um, what I'm looking forward to achieving and how I kind of plan my first few days back after after a half term so that I ease myself in and it doesn't feel super chaotic. Um, but yeah, if you are new here, um, hi, my name is Sophia and I'm a science teacher. I'm a head of department in a large secondary uh, school in London and I often post videos. I know it's been a while since I haven't, but I'm really keen to make some more videos and share with you guys some of the things that, um, you know, has really worked for me and some of the things I'm working on. Uh, to, to share my teaching experience with you guys um, and I hope you find it all really helpful and useful but if there are any video requests then let me know in the comment section down below and I promise I'll try my best to get around to filming those uh, but in the meantime here I am with this video uh, today uh, partly because I need a little bit of motivation uh, to get these things done um, but yeah grab a cup of tea or a coffee or anything of your choice um, if you want to spend the next few minutes with me um, and feel free to have me in the background if you yourself want to just kind of get on with some work and get organised. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I've got my laptop just here and I was going through my emails um, and seeing if there's anything urgent that I need to get done um, in response to those. Um, and I'm also going through what um, I have to manage my team. Um, it's called Team Priorities Document. Um, I'll try my best to share that with you in a video in the future when I talk about managing workload for my department rather than just for myself. Um, but yeah, so this document just has um, weekly um, priorities that we need to focus on and I'm just reviewing the one that I had for the final week and it looks like I've got a few things pending. So the first one is the year nine assessment. Um, it is going to happen at the end of February. So I just wanted to get ahead of myself and design that assessment um, so that it's uh, ready to, to put in for printing in the first few days. Um, and then also just sort out the data tracker so that um, you know my teachers can input the data once they've finished marking it. Um, and then the other thing I need to also finish are the year 10 grade boundaries. Um, so we recently changed from Edexcel to AQA uh, for GCSE and we've got a bit of a hybrid approach where our year 11s are doing Edexcel and our year 10s are doing AQA and part of doing assessments each you know, term with students is really reviewing the, um, the quality of that assessment design and how it's reflected in the grade boundaries. Um, so I'm fairly new to doing grade boundaries for GCSE AQA in response to the assessments that I've designed. And this last one that I did um, was actually a little bit easy for the top end of the students. And so I need to just adjust those grade boundaries to um, give them a really good idea of what grade they're working at. Um, it's a really tricky thing to do. Um, but yeah, I do need to just uh, finish those off. It's something I've been putting off for a while. Um, and then the, the final thing I need to tackle is my year 13 strategy. So um, during January, the all of the year 13s did mocks in their subjects and we did all of that mock marking. We did some strategy um, meetings and planning. And now I just need to execute a little bit of that um, discussion that we had, um, maybe write up a, a few emails in a document and tweak kind of what the plan is going to be for the next few weeks until they do their A-level exams. Um, and that is actually something I'd, I'd be quite happy to share with you. I don't know if you, if you teach A-level, 
Um, it's not something I've shared a lot on this channel before, um, but perhaps I could make a, a separate video on um, how I do that. And so, yeah, I, I think those are the three main things I need to get round to. So the year nine assessment, the year 10 grade boundaries and my year 13 uh, biology kind of action plan uh, strategy. Um, the other thing I know I need to finish is my year 12 marking. Um, I've got a really large year 12 cohort and I teach all three A-level biology classes um, for year 12. Um, and so my pile of marking is quite big and I really didn't want to do it in the last week of the half term. Um, but that's okay. Um, the way I'm going to approach that is I won't do that today. Um, I'm actually going to do that tomorrow and have a bit of a change of scenery and treat myself to um, a nice coffee and just go somewhere and spend a really good chunk of time uh, getting those done. Um, I much prefer doing marking as a deep piece of work rather than kind of going in and out of marking and marking one question at a time, for example. Um, I have done that, don't get me wrong. Um, and there are times where I need to do that. But if I get the choice, I'd rather sit down and just do a really big bulk of marking in one go um, and kind of enjoy it and see patterns of, you know, how students are doing. Um, but yeah, so that's something I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to tackle is prepping and planning for uh, next week and for the half term. So I'll show you a little bit of that next Okay, so it's looking like um, I've got quite a few things to, to focus on. I've got a, a couple of parents' evenings. Um, I've got a few things that I do each week, which are um, writing my science bulletin for the team and setting uh, the standardised homework for uh, all year groups across the department. Um, and I've also been running a homework revision club. It's been a, a trial and error <laughs> process. And um, I really do want to refine the students that, um, the, the choice in which students attend this. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time in the first week doing that and then kind of just running that and tweaking it as the weeks go by. Um, and then I've, as I mentioned, I've got some year 11 and year 13 stuff I need to prioritise um, and some marking, definitely. Um, and I've also got some subject meetings, so department meetings to, to plan and organise and prep. Um, and then finally, I've got a timetable a change that I'm going to need to make because we've got um, a new member of staff joining us after Easter, uh, which is really exciting. But I do need to tweak um, kind of the teaching spread and work um, teaching load um, so that it kind of works uh, really well for, for everyone. Um, and then I also want to get ahead of doing perhaps some set changes but also some end of your exam prep, um, which come around May, June time. Um, but we're talking, me working on that around March time so that with the Easter break, everything is kind of ready uh, to go and get printed um, so that I'm not having to kind of chase my tail um, at a really busy marking period. Yeah, so that's kind of what it it looks like kind of at a glance. Um, and then for my Notion page, um, I've just quickly mapped out what lessons I'm teaching and what topics I'm teaching for each of the lessons on my um, medium term plan document. Um, again, I've shared how I make those um, in previous videos, so you can um, look look at those if, if you're interested in, in learning a little bit more. But um, I'm going to do now a little bit of bulk planning and prepping for those lessons. Um, and then I'm going to choose um, what is the main task I want to work on each day at school. Um, and I'm just going to do that for the first week uh, so then I can kind of respond to whether I'm getting those things done or not. Um, and then I'll kind of maybe pencil in a couple of um, the other really important stuff to, to get done in week two. And then I'm going to leave it at that and um, get started. Well, there you have it. Um, I hope you have found it useful to kind of spend a little bit of this time with me getting organised for the next uh, half term and finishing some, some of those jobs I needed to do, but also kind of learning a little bit about what I do as a teacher and as a head of department, kind of a little sneak peek into, into that. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, you have a wonderful day ahead of you and um, I will see you in a video hopefully really soon. Um, take care. Bye.